Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely, lazy gardener, Lizzie. And today, I wanted to talk about something uh, that's very important, especially if you're in my zone. <laughs> so I'm gonna be talking about uh, how to keep your plants cool, if it's at all possible, in uh, zone 9B. Y'all, this is kind of not a teaching channel. However, I'm just telling y'all what I'm experiencing. And so I'm down in Central Florida. So please give this video a thumbs up for being out here in the heat because y'all sweating. And also for uh, showing you some things that you can use in your garden to keep your plants cool. Thumbs up and subscribe. All right, let's get into it. Okay, you all, this is going to be a very, 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 very quick video because I just want to show you all some ways that I'm kind of keeping my plants cool. Number one, I am planting on the side of my house and here this garden gets probably about maybe six hours of full sun. So that's a plus because I'm in Florida and here in Florida, Plants tend to go hairy carry, which is another word for uh, suicide. <laughs> they tend to be suicidal in the Florida garden. So uh, one way that I'm keeping my seed wings nice and cool is by using this greenhouse. And I learned early on, this is my second season, that uh, little seedlings, they cannot make it in the Florida sun at all. And so I got this greenhouse and I just did a review for this greenhouse and I'll put a link above and you can see uh, my thoughts on the greenhouse, but they are very happy right now. And right now the whole garden is getting full sun and you can see these are still pretty shaded, but they still are getting some sunlight. So they're looking pretty good. And one way to keep them cool as well is to make sure that they're moisturized, okay? Just like we are. We put our little lotion on, our sunblock, gotta make sure they have lots of water. And then here, under this trellis, I actually put an umbrella up, y'all. <laughs> I found this umbrella on the side of the road. I actually have a few of them, so there's another umbrella that's gonna be coming out here. And I just kind of attached it to my trellis up here and you see it's very happy here the plants are still getting sun under here but they're not getting sun scold let me show you what my beans look like with the sun scold so if you look down here you can see some of my plants they have that white y'all that's sunburn so this plant actually gets more sun than the rest of these because these are under the umbrella. And as you can see, they're looking pretty good. This is a little bit of sun scold because I actually took the umbrella off for a day and that's what happened. <laughs> they got burnt. Also, you can look over here on the morning glories. When I had the umbrella off, I had lots of sunburnt leaves. So y'all, don't be fooled into thinking that uh, your plants can take the heat because they're plants. That's not at all true. The intensity of the sun is different in different zones, but here um, we are, right now it's May, and today is in the high 80s, and it's not humid, it's very dry, so it's just gonna get worse as the summer goes on. But these are some things that I'm doing to help to keep the plants cool and to provide some shade. So what I also did was I put some shade cloth in strategic spots. So we have some shade cloth over uh, this little growing room that I have here, which I call my sky garden because it was exposed to the sky, but I put a little bit of shade cloth up so everything will will not wilt away to nothing. I also put shade cloth on top of my trellises. And my way of thinking was actually to grow plants that trellis that will provide shade as well. What I did was I put watermelons on this side of the trellis 
And I was hoping that they would kind of go over the top, but they still have a little bit of a ways to go, you can see. And that provides shade for my tomato plants that are inside. So you can see here, the tomato plants are shaded. Now I do have some tomato plants that are a little bit of exposed. And the reason why I didn't put the shade cloth all the way over, because you can see like this tomato plant has busted out and it is, it's indeterminate and it is going over the shade cloth. So hopefully the watermelons will provide enough shade to keep the tomatoes alive. And here is the other trellis. This is my Eve trellis. And I put the shade cloth on this one. And my intention was for my beans to provide some shade. So you can see the beans and the cucumbers, they're starting to go up, but they're moving pretty slow. Not exactly sure why. On both sides, they are providing some shade for the plant babies that are inside. So hopefully, it's enough to uh, keep everything a few degrees cooler. And then you'll see here, I've had this shaded for a while. So if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen this and probably wonder what the heck I was doing. <laughs> and you can see inside here, I have some celery and it has some lettuce that's still growing, it's not bolting. And some bunching onions and some other uh, set items under here. And they're doing really well. And that's because they are in the shade. Look at that cilantro. It's looking pretty good. And that's because I have the shade cloth on them. Now what I'm also doing is I'm growing plants that will provide some shade. This is a loofah. A loofah bush is actually three plants and it's going to go up, up, up and away over this trellis. And hopefully it will go on to the E trellis and provide even more shade. And again, Again, I'm growing some cucumbers and some beans, and hopefully they will go up and provide more shade as well. So having a vining plant helps when it comes to providing shade for your garden also. And then here on this side, in this uh, spot back here, this is kind of a back work area, and I put some tomatoes back here. And as you can see, they're in the sun now, but they get even less full shade than the rest of the garden. And that's why I put these out here. So sometimes you can put things in partial shade and they will do well also. So these are some tomatoes and so far they're doing pretty good. I also made some hoops out of some PVC pipe and I'm going to be shading this as well. I haven't put the shade on just yet, but these are my, I call this my kale forest. And so the kale forest is going to need some shade. It's still growing really good. There's no sunburn. It's very happy, but I'm going to give it some shade anyway. And it'll also um, be protected from some flying bugs that, you know, like to come and eat your stuff. <laughs> now on this side of the trellis, I do have another tomato plant. It's not under the trellis, however, where it's at, it will get partial shade during um, the time when the sun, when the garden is in full sun. So that was kind of a strategically placed, but I think I still may have to provide a little bit more shade uh, on this area as well. So that's something for me to think about in the future. Under here, I have some spearmint plants and y'all, these almost burnt up in the sun, so I had to put them in some shade as well. So if you look at the spearmint plants, y'all look at all those dark spots, that's sunburn. And then also on this deal, sunburn. So one thing to think about is growing things that could take the sun and you don't have to um, put shade over it. But again, the Florida sun, it's like you have to test things to see what truly can take the sun. So I have quite a few things that are, some are kind of under test and some are not. <laughs> I know that like my squash plants, they're fine in the sun, but they need to be watered. And everything's watered really good right now, but if it wasn't, it would be a wilting a lot. So right now I'm just coming out and I'm checking out things to make sure that the sun is not just like beating it down. Now look at this, my Black Eyed Susans are a popping up. Yay! 
like this plant right here this is a squash plant it's still kind of a baby so it's kind of tender it probably could benefit from some shade but it will do well in the sun you know how i know because i tested it and these are my radishes you all but they are in a cement mixing tray which is kind of shallow and even though i fill this up with water daily it's still i'm still getting some wilted leaves because anything that is shallowly um, put in with soil is probably going to dry out really quickly so again i'm considering whether to shade these or not y'all almost forgot to talk about my in ground uh, raised bed and here in the raised bed i don't think i've shown you all but i have like lots of bean plants in here and I have shown you the bean plants that I have on the side and the bricks. And I've taken lots of leaves off because y'all look at all that. That's sunburn. These plants burn really easily. These are Blue Lake, um, Blue Lake beans. And on the other side, I have contenders and they burned really fast, even though we're not in the heat of the sun yet. So, I decided to put some uh, makeshift shade up here as well. And I'm using a shade cloth. Now, originally when I first started doing my garden, I had up um, just some sheets. So you can use bed sheets. You can go to Goodwill and get some bed sheets really cheap if you don't wanna use any of your own. Or you can go to the hardware store and you can buy this type of shade cloth you can buy by the yard or sometimes they have them in rolls and you can buy them and it actually goes a long way so we have here shade cloth and then here more shade cloth again shade cloth and again more shade cloth and then if you have any trees you can also put some of your plants under the trees for some shade as well. And of course you don't want them to be in full shade. So partially shade, shade is good from your trees. So y'all, these are my ground cherries. And y'all look, sunburnt to death. I had to move this under my tree. Not sure if it's gonna recover. Still making plenty of ground cherries. And this is another one, and it's doing okay, but it is getting sunburnt too. And this one is in the shade a uh, lot, and it's still getting sunburnt. So uh, we'll see if it's gonna make it through the summer. So you all, there are tons of ways that you can provide shade for your plant babies, just like I did here in the garden. And if you can find some umbrellas that somebody's throwing out on the side of the road, that's even better. <laughs> Although, this is actually a beach umbrella, y'all. Beach umbrellas are pretty inexpensive. So, if you can get that, you can put that on a balcony. If you have, like, a balcony garden. Uh, or And that way, you can provide some shade that way as well. But anyway, so I showed you all the ways that I am shading things in my garden. And I just wanted to let you know, y'all, it's okay to be shady. Plants can grow in partial shade and some can grow in, like, full shade. But the shade cloth actually lets some sun come through. So let's not get it twisted. <laughs> Your plants need some sun. So we're still in the process of kind of testing things, seeing what's working, seeing what's not, seeing what's going to survive the Florida sun. So if you all want to see what survives and what I harvest, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe so you'll know when more videos like this one come out. And we will see you on the next video. It's okay to be shady. <laughs>